What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another tier list video. Today we're going to be taking a look at centre forwards and strikers, players that are going to be scoring goals. There's 55 players, it's going to be a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> Also, we have done a video, or we will be bringing up another video for wingers. So if you don't see one of your favorite out wide players, or an SS, or some players that can get shots off from maybe an attacking midfield position, we will do another attackers video as well. All right, boys, let's go straight in, man. We've got D to S, S being the best. We also have some players in here that will be down as wingers, or down as, you know, maybe like a CMF here with Hullet, uh, where we're going to have him playing as a center forward role. So this is essentially all center forwards, playing as leading the line. Um, other players such as Maradona, other versions of Messi, they'll be in the other video. Kiesa will be in another video as well. And then we do have Rodrigo and Salah here. So I'm going to try and keep this quick because we do have 55 players, but we're also going to go in a little bit deeper with the S meta players and kind of my talking uh, points through them. So we're going to start with D and C and work our way up. Ob obviously, we're going to put in a couple of players that are not at the races and obviously are due new cards out. Now, for me, this is just my opinion, but I'm going to start those off with Ben Yedder, who's going to go into D. Listen, we have got five uh, categories here now. We've done away with just having A, B, C and meta. We have done D. Just kind of differentiate it again. And as I said, if you've got any suggestions for these videos to improve them, please do let me know. And if I missed a player... It might be on purpose, or it might just be because I forgot. As you can see, I'm just back from holidays. I've got a, a, a little bit of sunburn going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean, listen, Ben Yedder is a good player. Uh, I also think that this guy going into C with the other players that we have on here, we're going to do D and C to get them out of the way first. Because obviously you guys probably want to see the meta ones, but we have to work our way up to there. Now, there's a couple of other players in here that, depending on your play style depending on how you your, you create your chances, how you actually build up your attacks, it, they could be either a B or a C for you. Now, for me, I feel like that the likes of Bebeto is a good player, but he's not better than a C or a B. You know what I mean? He's, he, that's kind of like arguable that you could actually have this as an arguing point where you say, ah, Bebeto for me is a beast, but is he better than a lot of these guys on the bench here? Now, we also have this Badis Judah here. Um, I don't know if this card is out, but it is just any version of the card. So any version that you have of the card here is going to be uh, what we're using. So if this version isn't out, um, it's just kind of like a slip up or whatever. And also with this Neymar, if he's in as a specific card, that's obviously because, you know, we wanted to rate this card rather than another version, right? So for example, with Salah, I think if we go through this list... Depay has to go on to D. I know he's a good card. We'd also probably throw the new booster David into C. I know a lot of people are scoring goals with him, but he's not going to stay meta. He's not going to be A or B past next week. There's tons of players that are better on, on this list than him. Um, I would also probably put Highland. I think this Highland card is very disappointing. This is coming from a Manchester United fan. And I would also probably... Listen, it's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of very difficult to put Ronaldo, even though this is the free version of Ronaldo, it's it's kind of difficult to put him anywhere above D, but we can't put him on the same par as these three boys, so we will stick him into C for now. Um, and also, as well as that, we're probably going to put in, I would say, that the free tell, even though a lot of people are using him and have used him uh, to good effect, I would say that him and Kola Moani... Um, that are here, I would say I'll put them into D. Listen, some players have to go into D. It's just the way that we're doing this now, um, instead of just having A, B, C, and S. Some players, there is a big difference between having, you know, tell up leading the line, or somebody that's going to be like an S meta player. But again, get in touch in the comments below and let me know if you actually agree or disagree. I'm not expecting everyone to agree with everything I say, and I do like debate. I do like kind of like putting your points across. So please do get in touch in the comments below for future videos as well, with ideas or your suggestions on whether you agree at me or not now as we go up the list i also feel that just to round off the d's here and then i'll leave it for a second um i do feel that like this guy salas i'm gonna stick him into into d as well that's kind of a controversial one because i know that a lot of people like him i would also probably put andy cole into c and i will probably finish this off with putting Oshman into D. Oshman was a beast of a player with this, the Showtime version of him specifically. Very strong card, very, very enjoyable card to use. I actually loved him, but he, he just fell through. He just is like moving him in mud now, man. I used him there the other day um, when we were playing a game, and he was just he was just terrible, man. They've really nerfed him into the ground. I would also say the same for Haaland. Listen, lads, Haaland, this version of Haaland is 
little bit better, but I can't put him anywhere else. It is kind of a little bit of a joke that there isn't a better version of Haaland than this card that we have here. His balance is killer for where the gameplay is at. The gameplay just does not suit Haaland or any versions of Haaland, even though he's really, really good in front of goal. And if we were making a super sub or an impact player tier list, which we might do next... Haaland would be definitely up because he's got super sub and he's a game changer when you bring him on. But based on this rest of these cards, I can't put him higher than the free Cristiano Ronaldo. I would also say that the free Mbappe is one of the best cards in it. Um, so we will probably see where we put him, but he will probably be on par with that B or C, depending on where you, know, you like to use him. Uh, moving along the list, I would say that out of all of these players here... I would say that Eric Cantona is a C, and I would also say that Adriano is a C. Now, the reason for that, in my opinion, is that looking across this list of cards here, I do feel that there are a couple of, like, choices in here. We have 55 players, obviously, but it's, it's difficult to kind of, like, pinpoint where Adriano fits in, because if you're used to scoring with him, you can do it. But the problem is, is that, like, he's not anywhere near the meta. So if you're taking the meta as the baseline, and you're working your way down... You have to kind of slot him into C or D. But again, this is just my opinion. I'm also going to probably throw in, pretty controversial as well, I'm probably going to throw in Batistuta in there because they're all kind of similar players. Haaland, Cantona, Adriano and Batistuta. It doesn't really matter how good they are at controlling the ball or scoring. They're just clunky in the game. They're clunkier than the meta type players. And that's what this tier list is about. This tier list is not about players that you can only play with. I mean, you guys know that if it was up to me, I would put Collar into the meta. Um... You know, because I'm absolutely beasting with Collar all the time. But, you know, he's not a meta player for the average player. So uh, all of those kind of cards are similar. I would also throw and probably round this off with Harry Kane there. Um, and then for the Ds, just to kind of finish off this list, I'm going to put in the Laurentian. His ability and his strengths lie in his versatility. Obviously, Lorente is going to be down as more a CMF, um, but I can't put him anywhere higher than that. And then I would also probably... <sighs> This is a tough one, man. This is a tough one because I actually do really enjoy Drogba and I really enjoy playing with him, but I can't put Milito or Drogba any higher than that. I mean, you can switch this around and you could stick Cantona down here and Milito up there. I mean, it's really kind of just, you know, um, kind of like six of one and a half dozen of the other. It's kind of, it, it's kind of a similar argument. All of these are kind of interchangeable. Where the real meta comes in is going to be A, B, and S. That's going to be my opinion. I think that we'll leave that at that. We also have this free Sally um, down as a C, who we talked about before. I know a lot of people love this guy and that they can beast with this guy. But on the rest of the list, I don't think that there's much complaints about these guys. Um, because they're just, there's, there, there is that discrepancy between the players. Now... Where we're going to start off with B is we're going to start off with the free Mbappe. I would say that free Mbappe is probably an A, um, but we'll start him off with B based on the other players that we have here. So we're going to just quick fire these. We're going to throw Bob in. We're going to throw Forlan in. We're also going to throw Kubo in and we're going to throw Robbie Keane. A lot of people will sleep on Robbie Keane and they'll also sleep on Dennis Law. But literally, they have given me a lot of trouble, and I know a lot of people that love them. Robbie Keane is one of the best super subs in the game in terms of just an impact player. If you train him right, and he's got his good build, and you give him a couple of uh, good training skills, he's a beast of a card. Also into this, I would probably put Furuhashi, who has got a very solid card here. I would probably put Inzaghi in there towards the bottom of the list. And I would probably put in Van Basten. Van Basten is a card that if you can use him, he is an absolute demon. Stoichkov can go in there as well, and that kind of rounds off our Bs. Now, we will probably need to add more to B and C, but that's a very quick fire B that I kind of had my eye on and say, yeah, look, C and D is more kind of arguable that you can argue the point that, you know, David could be up in B and Forland down, Forland could be up in A and Forland or Robbie Keane up in A. Free Mbappe could be up in A, Dennis Law could be down in C or D. It depends on how you play, but this is just a rough guide of it. Where the real kind of um, the real kind of debate is going to happen is with the A's and the B's. So I'm going to start with the A's by sticking. I would say Van Nistelrooy in there. I know a lot of people will say, well, what's the difference really between Van Nistelrooy and the likes of Van Basten or Inzaghi or Dennis Law or any of those? There isn't really a difference. I mean, I'm just trying to make this as big a tier list as possible while including as many players as possible. We could have slimmed this down to 40 players and left off the likes of Tell, Moani, Salas, Oshiman because people don't use them. But if you are using them, it's kind of a catch-all video. Highland the same. Highland isn't going to feature in any team in the top 1,000. Um, so we did kind of mix and match. 
We're also going to throw in Zamorano in here to A, which I think is a good position for him. And we will probably put in, I would say, Jesus, Rodrigo. Um, I will probably stick in Collar, even though I'd like him up a little bit higher. And I will probably put in, just because the game is the way it is, Ronaldo, Torres, David Villa, and probably Shevchenko. And that will be my A tier there, I would say. Um, now, we're not going to be able to have all of these players as S, because obviously there is only going to be a limit. We are going to only have probably around maybe 7 or 8 S tier to make them really the most viable players that you can possibly use in the game. And also, we've got a couple of strange choices probably still left if you're looking at this, because a lot of people mightn't have Saviola. They mightn't have... Salah, they mightn't have Cruyff, but these are kind of the main players that we've left to last, the best to last, and where I'm going to slot them in. So I'm fairly happy with that A, B, C, and D category there. Just to round it off, I will probably stick in, and this is a controversial one, I'm probably going to stick in Cruyff into A. I literally just cannot use Cruyff probably as well as some of you guys can. Um, I would much prefer Free Mbappe, Forlan, uh, Ronaldo, Robbie Keane, uh, any, anybody really up there than Cruyff. I just can't, he just doesn't click with me. I'd prefer Collar over Cruyff. So I will stick Collar in, or Cruyff into the same category as Shevchenko via uh, Ronaldo and Collar and uh, Zamorano and Van Nistelrooy. Now, as I said, you can mix and match these. We might do it at the end of the video where we'll do a bit of a change around. But for the meta, 100% has to be Romario. I would also throw in Mbappe and Messi. They're going to go into there. Now, I would say as well that the next Rummy card that's going to come out is going to be meta. So for now, with the only card that we're dealing with is this Rummy here. Uh, let me just hide my screen here a second, boys. Or let me just up this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So for this here, I would say that the only card that you're going to have here is going to be Rummy, Rummy that's going to be we're using at the moment. Because Rummy is obviously due a brand new card coming out, and he definitely will be meta because of the stats that he has. A little bit of a problem with his dribbling, his tight possession, but everything else, he's just a killer assassin in front of goal. I would also throw in probably Samuel Etou here, um, and then I would probably put in Lautaro Mar Mar Martinez is a difficult one, because he's not going to lead the line. Son is probably going to go into meta. I'm fairly happy with those six players there. Now, you will probably have noticed that I have left Saviola, Salah, Michael Owen, Lautaro Martinez... Raphael Leao, <laughs> there's a couple of very difficult choices here to make because I do want to limit myself to about maybe 10 up front um, in the S category, if not 10, maybe 8, um, and I personally just can't put Raphael Leao anywhere higher than an A, lads, honestly, I can't, this is going to be a controversial one because I know some people would have him above Romario even, that he'd be the ultimate, but for me, I can't put him any higher than an A, I would also put Hullet there because Hullet is better suited in different positions. I know a lot of people like to use him up front, but you do have better options in my opinion. Even if you have to use Collar, if you use somebody that's going to, you know, use the ball in the air. I think Neymar, as a free player, he gets extra points. Him and Mbappe are probably even, I would say, which means that I am probably going to move Mbappe up here. The reason I've included two versions of Mbappe and two versions of Ronaldo is that one of them was free, Two of them are free, obviously the free versions of them, so everyone would have probably got Ronaldo and Mbappe and were probably thinking if you were a free-to-play player, where did they rank in terms of the overall meta? Well, that's why I've included those, if, you, if you're wondering. I would also probably put in Lautaro Martinez in, in par with these. Again, Lautaro Martinez and Rafael Leao are going to be two controversial ones, because I know some people that would be playing with Lautaro and scoring a hat-trick a game with him. Rafael Leao could be scoring a hat-trick a game with him and be saying, how can you rate him? You know, you know, not as good as Samuel Eto'o or uh, Son or, uh, you know, Mbappe big time. That's just my opinion. I mean, it's, it's, it's open to debate. So please do get in touch and give me your, your thoughts. I would also probably put in Rashford into the B here, which means that I am actually going to move somebody out of either the C or the B and push him up a little bit. But I'm just trying to think of who I could possibly put in. I would probably put in Vinicius Jr. into the A here as well. We're going to have a lot of A's. And I would probably put in Salah. Blitz Curler, in my opinion, is completely broken at the moment. Still, you can manually goalkeeper, yes. But for the average player, they're not going to do that. And if you time it right, it is, it is a super overpowered skill. I would probably put Michael Owen into the meta here. And Saviola, who's been an older type card... I would probably put him into the A. So from that list there, boys, 
I don't want to make this video 20 minutes, but naturally it's going to be a longer video because we got 55 players to go through. From that list there, I'm pretty happy with my selections. The only one I'm probably thinking could be pushed up a little bit. Um, I don't know. I mean, the only one I'm looking at there, that, like I'm happy with the D list, right? Obviously, Drogba is getting a little bit hard done by there, uh, by being D. I do feel like... <sighs> This is a tough one, man, because I know a lot of people love Diego. F Listen, this is what I'll probably do, okay? I will put Diego Forlan up into A and put Drogba up into B. It's a big jump for Drogba, but I think he does. I think he does. Uh, I think he does deserve it. I mean, obviously, when a new card comes out of Drogba, if he gets a big time kind of or a booster card, uh, another booster card, we can revisit it. But for now, I think I'm fairly happy enough with that, and I would also probably push down. Um, I would probably push down Bebeto down here, even though he's a free card. Um, Bebeto is kind of more of a, you know, he, he just doesn't really work in the game as well as some of, the, as some of these other players. And then when we have A, we have most of the players in A there. Maybe we have a little bit too many players in A. So who would I change out of that? That's a tough one, man. But I think I would actually probably change and bring down Van Nistelrooy down here which is automatically going to mean that I'm going to push one other player down here, which is probably going to be Bob. Now, I know a lot of people will like Bob, but I do feel like Van Nistelrooy on this list is not an A-type player. And I do like the fact that Zamorano is still there, even though it doesn't matter which position he's in. Um, if we wanted to tidy this up a little bit, these are going to be the upper echelon type players here. So you'd have all of these players up, up near the, the front. Uh, here, Rodrigo, obviously, I would probably put ahead of Cruyff, in my opinion. Collar, we'd probably push him up a little bit as well because Collar's such a game changer. Forlan, I would probably put above here. There's a lot of players, man. There's a lot of really good players that we could put here, but there's no real arguing with any of these, you know. Um, Salah, again, for me, is an absolute beast. Um, but yeah, I'm happy enough with that tier list, boys. That is it for me. I would say that Romario, Mbappe, World Cup Messi, even though he's been nerfed into the ground, Rummy, Son, Eto'o, and Michael Owen. Now, obviously, we could add maybe one more here into the S tier if we want wanted to round it off. I said that we could have eight into S tier. I would be... Pfft, this is tough, man. This is tough because I genuinely know a lot of people will want me to put Rafael Leao in there. I personally can't do it. I honestly can't do it, man. I, I just feel like that Neymar is going to be the one to go in there. He's a free player, which automatically gives him a massive advantage. I wouldn't also be against pushing uh, this Vinny Jr. in, because I know Vinny Jr. is banging in goals galore. But for me, yeah, I'm probably going to put in, just because he's such a unique card, and every single person that played the game got Neymar, he is endgame level, in my opinion. His movement, he just moves differently. The new Neymar, obviously, the creative playmaker one is down. He's going to be as a winger um, so or an attacker in the next video. But let me know what you guys think, lads. This has been a longish video. I will do chapters for it. But let me know what you think. That is the final tier list that we have there. There's a couple of pieces that I know after putting this video up, I'll be saying, oh, why did I have him there? Why didn't I push him there? But let me know your thoughts, boys. Let me know your thoughts. Rafael Leao and I think Martinez are going to be the controversial ones because there isn't much between Mbappe, Leao and Martinez if you get used to their running patterns and how they play. And also, in fairness, Messi has been nerfed into the ground um, and Mike alone could be a little bit higher. I mean, it's, 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 it's a tough one. And I'm also probably missing one or two off that that you'd be like scratching your eyes out saying, why didn't he include him or why isn't he higher? But let me know in the comments below and on the next stream, we will do a community one with you guys picking it and we'll post that up on the discord and the twitter and we'll argue our points we'll discuss it and i do like these tier lists so don't forget to subscribe guys if you like unique content like this we're trying to keep it fun we're trying to keep it engaging and i'm trying to interact with people trying to get your thoughts we will do a community wide one it's going to be part of a new series that we're doing so watch this space don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree.